Hi guys, all right? I hope you're all right. We're all right here. The reason I'm putting on a video is on the weekend, just gone, it's Monday today, we went to a lava jewellery making party with our Robin. Now, people that watch these videos know I'm quite a fan of lava jewellery as I'm supporting them here and I just took some video and that's what I want to share with you. With regards to lava jewellery I feel it's getting very popular so I thought when whilst I was on the workshop that I would share with you the kind of thing we do here in our community um, with Robin who makes the lava jewellery and I'll leave all her details below. Robin's actually done a whole write-up um, and pamphlet on her lava jewellery and her workshops. She's called My Dragonfly Creations which is nice. So why lava stone? Because it comes from the centre of the earth Lava stone has very good grounding qualities, helping to keep you calm and balanced. Now that's, I feel that it's worked a treat on me. I've obviously got carried away with that and now I've even got my lava jewellery and crystal there, you can see that, on a little tree on my dressing table. So. That's my selection depending on what I'm wearing. So I can add oils to this jewellery like so. Got balance here, more grounding. Couple of drops in my hand. I rub my jewellery and it absorbs into the lava part and then I've got that that oil next to my skin all day long so if I do that throughout the day top up then I'm very grounded and calm which is nice so what's to follow Lots of big news to tell you. I've now reached, thank you so much, 5,000 views over all the videos. So thanks to everyone that's watching. I appreciate you. And all, all subscribers, thank you. We've reached 28,500 views on the MSWA Josh Kennedy video, which I will put up here because that's amazing, amazing numbers. So I'll keep this short and sweet today. I've just had my juice. I'll show you what it looks like before and after, here somewhere. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. It's so kind that you're taking time out of your day to watch these videos and it's, it's just, uh, interesting for me to put these videos on just to show you my journey and how it's going and how how lucky we are really to live in a wonderful place like this and how we get by day to day and we'll definitely see you soon so thanks for watching please don't hesitate to contact me on the email below I'll put Robins there if you're local and would like to do a party Please like, share, comment, please subscribe, that would be lovely, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. So who can tell me where lava comes from? It does, it comes from volcanoes. And if you have a look, don't take them out yet because they'll go everywhere. If you have a look at the beads, they are full of little air bubbles. And that's what makes them so good for absorbing the essential oils. So when they're on your body, the oil will go straight into you. Okay? Now, your little brochure there on the front tells you about 
uh, the workshops and what else I do. The stainless steel charms are also $2 and I use stainless steel because the oils won't affect them. Mm -hmm. And I also have the beads for chakra bracelets. You know what your chakras are, your energy centres. Okay. So when we come to put the gemstones on, you can see they've all got their descriptions in there. Uh, you can have a think and see if you've got issues that need dealing with. Uh, and have a look. Or you might think, oh, I want to make a green one. When you look at the green stones, it's probably got properties that you need anyway. Okay, so uh, you can put six or seven gemstones on. All right, shall we get, have you got any questions about lava or bracelets? It tells you in the brochure how to put the oil on, but what you do is just put a drop or two in your hand and roll your bracelet round like that. And then put it on, and what you've got left can go on the back of your neck or the soles of your feet, because that's where it gets in quickest. All right, shall we get started? Okay, open up your packet carefully. Sure. What we're doing is making a bracelet like this. Now we're going to start at the centre back. So we put on half of the last beads, the metal spacer, and then the gemstones, the next spacer, and the rest of the last beads. So you start by getting your elastic off the bit. So eight lava beads. So I, uh, yeah.